Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make part 2 of the Elements Crochet Along designed by Sandra from Hooks and Yarn. In part 2 we're going to be making this part here, this textured square that's around the smaller center square that we made in part 1. The yarn that I'm using is Schepje's Stone Washed Yarn in combination with a 4mm crochet hook. Take you step by step through the rounds that make up part 2. Hope it's a useful video for you. Thank you for watching. Round 13. I'm going to start by working 13 single crochets. Then we're going to start a new, no, basically a new corner here in the center. Then we work 13 more single crochets and then we work stitches in the corner. That's what we're going to be doing on this edge. You're currently with a slip stitch in that first stitch, that first single crochet there. You see, I've still got the yarn tail here. That was the standing stitch from the previous round. You're currently in there. I'm going to do a chain one. This is not a stitch, this is just to get you to the correct working height. And then work a single crochet in that same stitch. So in the same stitch work a single crochet and then this is the first one of 13 so that was one now we do 12 more that's one two three four and 13 stitches so I've got the first one plus 12 and at this point you're going to have three stitches that are above this group that we did a few rows down. You see here's a special a granny special stitch, this double, the treble and a double. So we're going to be working above these three stitches. You see those three stitches are above there. We're going to skip the next stitch, so that's going to be this one. And we're going to be working a series of stitches in here and the treble, that's that one, and then skipping this stitch, come here and work another 13 single crochets, the same as we have on this side. So here I've got 13 single crochets now in total. Skip the next stitch, that's that one, and then here the center stitch, that's exactly above this treble, work a double crochet in there. twice over because we're now going to work a treble and we're going to work that around the treble from a few rows down. You're really going to have to just fold your work to get around that stitch. And then as I work this and as I come up I'm just going to give that stitch a bit of room to breathe so that it doesn't curl inward but just stays nice and flat. And then work one more double crochet in that same stitch here at the top. You can see this is actually a special granny that you just work the double, the treble, and the double. Chain two, and now again work a double, twice over for the treble. That's going to be around the same position here. So fold your work around that treble, and again just give this stitch room to breathe. And work another double in there. I'm just going to have to just you're just going to, going to, have to push your work to the side to just to get in there and see exactly where that stitch is. Now, if we fold our work flat, this is what it looks like at the moment. Skip the next stitch. That one there. Skip that stitch and go to the next and work 13 single crochets. Two, three, until you get to the corner. And then this is stitch number 13. So just double check them by just counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it's thirteen single crochets. Remembering that you're skipping that very first one you see there, there it is, that little stitch that I skipped there. Brings you to the chain 2 space. 
in the chain 2 space going to work a single crochet chain 2 and another single and at this point the next stitch that one there is going to be the first of another 13 single crochets so 13 singles to bring you here to the center where you're going to work exactly the same as we just did so this bit here those 13 this group of stitches 13 singles and the single chain to single do this on your other three edges also when you get to the first stitch close on that with a slip stitch round 14 currently in this stitch here with a slip stitch from closing if you want to use the same color yarn just continue with me if you want to um, change colors go to the corner that might actually be a better place to attach your yarn make a corner and then go from there the corner is a single crochet chain two and a single and they work a single on all of these stitches I'm going to take it from here because that's the moment where we're at chain one and then a single crochet in the same stitch and in every stitch until you have two stitches left Let's do a single crochet in every stitch until you have two stitches left and then those last two stitches we're going to skip and there we go two stitches left those two stitches I'm going to skip and then in this space here we're going to make a granny special stitch and that's again a start in that in that space there with a double crochet followed by a treble and the treble we're going to work around the front post treble here from a few rows down so we're going to work another front post treble here that's twice over for the treble and folding your work to really get around that stitch grab your yarn I'm just going to work this a little loose I'm just going to give this stitch a bit of room to breathe yeah, that will just help to keep your work from curling extremely curling a bit is going to be normal but just to keep it from extreme curling and then in that same space there another double crochet you're going to skip the next granny group that's this group here and then in the chain 2 space work a new corner so this is the same as we've done before that's a double crochet and then in between those two stitches in there we're going to make the trebles it's twice over make the treble so this this corner we've done this corner before the treble and then the double crochet in the same space that chain two space to the back chain two and we do the same again another double crochet a treble a kind of squish your hook in there because you're going to have to get another one in and another double crochet in the chain two space see you're making a, a new detailed effect here again skipping these next three stitches that's the granny special group you can notice you'll have again a kind of a natural space here between these uh, the first single crochets and that granny group in there in that space we're going to be making the same as on that side on this side also a double crochet so it's a granny special stitch that you're doing in there double crochet oh, there comes my yarn I wasn't supposed to 
it twice over. Again a treble. If you look at your work, this is the next available position for, for that treble, that front post treble. Again, I'm just going to make this slightly loose, so just give this stitch a bit of room to breathe. And then another double crochet in that same space. You can see how you've now worked this entire unit here. I'm going to skip the first two single crochets, that's one, two, skip those two. And then work a single on every stitch till you get to the corner. You're going to have, if I remember correctly, 12 single crochets here until you get to the chain two corner space. And those single crochets you also have on the other side. So it's going to be uh, this round is symmetric, not always. Sometimes you'll have an asymmetric round, but this round is symmetric. So you're going to do a single crochet on the next stitches. So you should have done 12 single crochets here, keeping in mind that you're skipping you see the kind of hidden there now. So you've skipped those first two, now we've worked 12 single crochets. Then in the chain 2 corner space work a single, chain 2 and a single. On the next straight edge we're going to do exactly the same as we've done here. We're going to work a single crochet on every stitch, then skipping those last two stitches, so you're going to work 12 singles, then skip two stitches. In this space here work another granny special with the treble around this one here, then work a corner, work in the next space in there another special with the, this one you're grabbing skipping the first two again work 12 double crochets oh sorry single crochets 12 singles all the way around when you're back to the first stitch close on that stitch with a slip stitch round 15 if you color yarn on my hook we're going to start in the stitch after the corner. See here's the corner stitch see that's the chain 2 space and that's the single crochet you made in the corner I'm going to take the stitch after that that's that stitch there. I'm going to start in that stitch with a standing back post single crochet and if I can just there we go get my hook around that back post standing single crochet and that's the first of 10 stitches this is the second it's two three four nine and 10. Look at what you have now. You see you have two single crochets left. Those two. We're going to skip those two and we're going to work a treble to cover them. And we're going to work a front post treble, so parallel to this treble here. If you just pull your work flat, you see that single crochet, this is from round 13, we're going to make the front post treble around that stitch. And there. That stitch. You see it's in line with your next series of front post trebles you have here. And there. Around that stitch. Work a front post treble around that stitch. And you'll notice at this point that your work really starts to curl and um, you'll have to block your work at the end of part two. I've got the front post treble there. I'm just going to give this stitch a bit of room. Now, so I'm skipping those two single crochets there to the back, and I'm going to skip this um, special uh, granny special stitches and go to that space that's in there. 
and then I'm just going to work a another granny special stitch so that's a double crochet front post treble around the treble that's immediately below and another double crochet in that space in the chain 2 space the chain 2 corner space work a new corner so that's a double crochet then the treble that's in between here exactly the same as we've done before so I'm just going to open that up work the treble and the double again in the chain 2 to the back chain 2, it's a new corner stitch work another double another treble so I mean this is at this point should be a little familiar to you because we've done this before and another double going to come down and do the same on this side as we did on that side in that space there just open that up in that space work a double crochet a treble and another double crochet same way on this side and on that side we're going to work that uh, front post treble and if you look here in line with this one there that stitch that's the one you want okay, to work a front post treble in that stitch there. So twice over and one two To the back, skip two single crochets. Just check that's the double, that's that last double we worked. So that's one, two singles, and then a back post single crochet on the next. This is again ten, so this is symmetrical to the other side. That's two, three. and 10. Notice you'll have one stitch left before the corner here, before the chain 2 corner space. That stitch, we're going to skip that stitch with a chain 3. 1, 2, 3, that chain 3. We're going to fold that to the back. And again, skipping this very first single crochet, go to the second a back post single crochet around that second stitch the second stitch I just open this up and then that chain three you fold that stitch to the back there you see here that 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 single crochet that you've skipped and then here's the second stitch that has that back post single crochet and this stitch is exactly the same as the stitch we started with. So everything we've just done, do that on all four edges. And then you're going to do a chain three, and skipping these last stitches and the chain two corner space, close on that one, on that first standing back post single crochet. Close on that stitch with a slip stitch. round 16 this round we're going to start in the chain 2 space that's in your granny special corner from now onwards this is the corner where we're going to start so for the rest of part 2 in that space attach your yarn with a slip stitch I'm actually using the same color yarn as the previous round If you can also change colors here if you want I'm just going to use this color 
chain 3 this is to start my corner so we're going to make a new granny corner so this is chain 3, that's the first double crochet twice over and then again in there make the corner and I just lost my yarn overs that's a treble and then another double crochet in the same space chain 2 double crochet followed by the treble and another double crochet that's your corner made I'm going to skip these three stitches so this is the cluster, this is the granny special that you're skipping and then in the next chain space oh, that's not a chain space but this, this space here I'm going to make a granny special in there that's a double crochet treble around this around the treble that's kind of a naturally available there and another double in the same opening. That was your granny special. We're going to make another granny special in this opening here between um, yeah, this granny special and the treble. So in, uh, in that opening there, we're going to make another granny special. So double crochet. treble and another double crochet so you've now done two granny specials the groups we're going to do is so we're going to skip the um, the treble here we're going to do a double crochet in the first single crochet after this treble so there's a treble and then in that first single crochet and you can see it's kind of it's kind of hidden here but in that stitch there I'm going to do a double crochet in that first single so these are all back post singles in that first back post single followed by a half double in the next two stitches and two then a single in the next seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven here is the last one. So the next up you have this chain three space. In the chain three space, in there, work a single crochet in the chain 3 space it's a single crochet then a single crochet through the corner of round of um, what is this round 13 Not sure anyway, this chain 2 space there from from two rows down and the chain 3 space so we're going to catch this little loop so through that chain 2 space and the chain 3 space so through both of them. Work a single and then here on the other side through the chain 3 space work another single crochet. So you've got the single in the chain 3 space, the single crochet through through the, the, the corner from two rows down and then another single crochet. Now I'm going to come on this side and do here the same as we just did on that side. So we're going to start with seven single crochets in the first stitches and this first one here that one be sure that you grab that first one correctly seven single crochets one two three four five six 
seven single crochets. Two half doubles, one, two half doubles, then you've got one stitch left, one single crochet left, going to do a double crochet on there. See how you're lengthening your stitches because you need to come up on this side here. Going to again skip the treble, this treble, we're going to skip that. And in this space between the treble and the next group of uh, granny special stitches, in there, we're going to do a granny special. And the same in this space here, we're also going to do a granny special. And then we're going to do the corner, the granny corner. So in that first space, double crochet around the treble, work another front post treble and then another double crochet in the chain space or not the chain space, just the space it's just the space and then come to the next space work a double crochet then the treble around the treble that's available to you and another double in the same space to the back then we come to the corner, which is a double crochet, the treble that's always folding your work, just in the right position, another double to the back. So you might notice I'm going slightly faster because we have done this many times before. Another double. Treble and another double. And I'm sure you can see that this corner is exactly the same as the corner we started with. So everything we just did, do this all the way around and after your last granny special just close on that chain 3 with a slip stitch. I'll cut my yarn and to change colours if you don't want to you can just leave it attached and we'll just slip stitch to the corner. Round 17. I have a new colour yarn. If you want to use the same colour, you'll currently be in that stitch there, that one. Just slip stitch till you get to the chain 2 corner space. Just make a few slip stitches. I'm going to attach my yarn here with a slip stitch and now we're at the same position. So otherwise just slip stitch until you're to the chain 2 space. I'm going to start with a corner stitch, so that's chain 3, which counts as my first double crochet. Twice over and then pulling my previous corner apart that I can just find that space there for the treble come back up and work the double chain 2 another double in the same position twice over and work another treble and then come back up and work another double crochet. There we go. We're now going to work three granny special groups. In this space here around that treble, this front post treble, in this space here around that front post treble and a third one in in this space here. So you see there's a double crochet that belong to this granny special and there's that first double and you've got this front post treble here. So in that space around this front post treble we're going to work the third one. So here, here and there. In those three positions. So in the first one so double crochet followed by a front post treble around the treble and another double at the, in that opening. The next opening another double crochet 
treble, front post, and another double. So those two are pretty st st standard and straightforward. And then the third one that's kind of in this in this position here, that, that, that opening there. If you just open up your work, you'll see kind of that space there because we skipped that stitch. So then the, in there a double crochet. In the treble around that front post treble, we make another front post treble. And another double crochet in that same opening. See how you've now made three, one, two, three granny special groups. On the straight edge, well it's not so straight, but we're going to be making this edge straight. You see it's still a bit round, so we're going to be working towards making this edge straight. We're going to skip the double crochet and the half double. If you look here, you see there's the double crochet. We're going to skip that and the first half double, so those two kind of being covered by this stitch here. And then this one, the third one, that's the second half double, going to continue in that stitch. And they work a half double. Followed by a single crochet in the next seven stitches. So one, two, both loops of course, three, Four, five, six, and number seven. Number seven should bring you to what we did previous round. You see here that single crochet which was in the chain space, the single crochet that's here in the, and coming down, and that single. These three we're going to skip with a chain three to the back. One, two, Three, so it's a chain three. Then we skip these three center stitches here. We're going to skip those. And then in the next stitch, that's that one over there, we're going to make a single crochet. So you can see how this loop kind of is going to fall a bit to the back. So that's the first we're going to do on this side the same as we did on, on that side. So we're going to work seven single crochets. There was number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets. The next stitch work a half double. You now have two stitches left, a half double and a double crochet. We're going to skip those two stitches and work three granny special stitches. So that's in this space here, in there, and in there. And this first space is above this, this front post treble. So there, there, and there. We're going to work granny special stitches in that space double crochet by a treble front post and another double crochet. In the next chain space, or it's not a chain space I should say, it's just a space, it's only an opening, there's no chain there. So it's a double crochet, the front post treble around the front post and another double crochet. And then do the same in the third space here at the top. You'll notice at this point that your work is really curly. That's normal, so don't stress about that. So I've worked three of these special, granny special groups. We're up to the corner where we're going to work the same corner as before. It's double crochet. Then the, for the treble we need to open up that corner loop again from the previous rounds. Back up and 
double crochet chain two two then another double crochet another treble and another double crochet oops a double not a half double double crochet there we go and this corner is exactly the same as that corner so what you've just done go all the way around and here after you've done that last granny special group so we're going to do one two three granny specials close on that first chain three with a slip stitch if you want to use the same color yarn just leave it attached we'll slip stitch to the chain space if you want to change colors cut your yarn and we'll attach in the chain space round 18 I'm currently in that stitch there with a slip stitch that was my starting stitch from the previous round I'm just going to slip stitch to the chain 2 corner space because I want to use the same color yarn for this round. If you're using a new color yarn just attach here with a slip stitch. And then we're now at the same position. I'm going to start with a corner. Just chain 3 for my first double crochet. And then again push and open everything up for the corner followed by another double crochet in the back chain two it's my new corner and then another double crochet another treble again in that space there sure to always um, to leave your chain two to the back that you don't accidentally grab that and another chain two to the back your first corner made going to come down and work three granny specials in these in the next spaces you see there are kind of three logical positions for those so we're going to work three granny specials in the first space One, so front post treble, and that's another one. That's your first granny special. Your second granny special. The next space. That's that's the double. I'll just try to keep everything flat here. It's double, the front post treble. And another double, and the third one in that last space, that last opening, the front post treble, and double crochet. So now you've done one, two, three granny specials for the for the straight part here, going to you have this granny special stitch here. We're going to um, skip that. So those those are three stitches. We're going to skip those and work a half double in the half double from the previous round. So in that stitch there, going to work a half double, skipping these three. So that's the granny special you're skipping in the half double, work a half double. On the next stitch, I'm going to work a single crochet two together. So you've got that stitch and that. Work a single crochet two together over those two stitches. That's one loop. Then we go to the next stitch. So pick up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook. Take them all off your single crochet two together. We have five stitches left going to work a single crochet on each of those. So one, two, 
two, three, four, and five. Next up you're now at the chain three space from the previous round. What we're going to do is we're going to work a single crochet in these three stitches from round 16 I believe. This is from round 16 and while we're doing that we're also going to cover the chain 3 space. So we're going to connect everything together. So we're going to work a single crochet in that first stitch and then cover the chain 3 also. So that's one. We've got that second one there. That's two. And the third one. That's three. Now on yeah, the second part here, we're going to do the same here as we did there. It means five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. The next two stitches work a single crochet two together. So in the first stitch, pick up a loop. In the second stitch, pick up a loop. Three loops on your hook, take them all off. In the last stitch here, work a half double. Now we're on to the granny special part again. I'm going to skip the first granny special. In that space work a granny special. In this space work a granny special around that treble. In this space a granny special around that treble. So these one, two, three positions going to work a granny special. So that's number one. first one, the second one, and then that double that goes along with that, and then here's the third space, work a last special in there. And three. Next up is the corner. I'm going to work the same corner we always do. Well, not always, but in many cases in this pattern. Then the treble and the double, chain two, and then another double. Travel. Oh dear. Let's do that again. The treble and the double. And then this corner, which you've now worked quite a few times, I'm sure you're very good at this corner, is the same as uh, this corner here. Do everything we just did all the way around and then close on that chain three with a slip stitch. See here what my work does? It really curls inward. Don't worry about this. We're going to block our work at the end of part two to get rid of, of this. So don't worry about this. So go all the way around and then close on that first stitch. Round 19. I'm going to use a new color yarn. If you're using the same color yarn, you'll currently be in here, I believe. Slip stitch to the chain two corner space. 
If you have a new color like me, just attach with a slip stitch. And now we're at the same point. I'm going to start with a corner, chain three for the first double crochet, and then opening up the corner again. You'll notice that these corners I'm going to start doing just a little faster because we've done this quite a few times already and we've and we're going to be doing quite a few more of these. But I'd still like to uh, get you on your way. So I'll keep showing you the corners. So it's a that's in there. Sometimes it is a little tight and you just squeeze and squash it in. And then the last double crochet. There you go. And that's the corner. Coming down on the edge, we're going to make four granny specials in the four spaces that you notice you have. You've got here one, two, three, and here you've got space number four. It's above this last treble. We're going to make a granny special in each of those. So the first one here in that space, double crochet twice over in the front post treble. And then another treble, another double crochet just to the back in that space, in that opening there. Do this for three more and I'll see you here. Now done four granny specials and this last one here is just on top of this last treble. You see that line there. We're now going to work further on straightening this edge out. We're going to skip the first stitch. You see that first, I believe this is a half double. We're going to skip that stitch. And on this single crochet, we're working a single crochet three together. So these three stitches we're going to grab together. So skipping the half double here, go to the next, that's that first single, and pick up a loop. Go to the next, and pick up a loop. And the next, and pick up a loop. So these you now have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and take them all off in one go. That's your single crochet three together. On the next four stitches, going to work a single crochet. So that's one, two. Three and four. Your next stitch should be the center stitch of these three that we made in this row down here covering that chain three space. You see these three stitches. Your next one should be the center one. Make a slip stitch in there. In the next, we make a slip stitch. I'm going to come up and do the same on this side as we did on that side. So that's four single crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Single crochet three together over the next one, two, three stitches. One, two, three. One, two, three stitches. And take them all off. Your next stitch, we're going to skip this half double. We're going to skip that stitch. And now in this kind of this this natural space here, I'm going to work a granny special to over this treble. So skipping that half double in that in that kind of that natural space there, that opening. Double crochet twice over treble. And 
and then another double to the back. Oh, oh dear, I just accidentally frogged my, uh, my work. That was not the planning. There we go. I wanted more yarn. There we go. You've now done this granny special here. You're going to do three more in this space, that space, and in that space above these three trebles. It's one, two, three. Quickly do those three and I'll just see you again for the corner. The three granny special groups brings us to the corner. They would do the same corner as before. So that's a double crochet in the chain two space. A treble kind of in there one round down. Another double crochet in the chain two space. Chain two. Double crochet in the chain two space. Another treble in there. There we go. Let me just grab that. And another double crochet in the top. And once again, this corner is the same as the corner we started with. So repeat this on your other three edges also. And here, close on that chain three. Round 20. I'm using the same color yarn. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the corner. If you're using a new color yarn, attach in the corner with a slip stitch. So I'm just going to move to the corner. If you've attached a new yarn, you're at the same point as I am now. A corner, so that's chain three, which is your first double crochet. In the treble, we're opening up a loop. And there we go, pick up the yarn, work the treble. Double crochet in the chain two loop, chain two, another double another treble and another double. There we go. That's the first corner. We're going to make four granny special groups again. This space, and that space, and that space, and that space. Around this treble, that treble, that treble, and that treble. So the first one in that first space. So the double crochet front post treble around the treble you already have and the double crochet to the back. Do this in three more spaces and I'll just see you at that point. Just work the last granny special in that space there. That special. You have one granny special left, these three stitches. We're going to skip those and then come to the first stitch, which was that single crochet three together that we worked. We're going to work a half double on there. We're going to work two half doubles. Then we're going to work two singles. Then we're going to work three slip stitches then two singles and two half doubles again. That's how we're going to deal with this, uh, this edge. We can see how you're slowly but surely making this edge straight. So skipping the granny special, come to the first stitch where you work a half double. In the next stitch work a half double. Singles in the next two. One. And two. Three slip stitches. The first one here is on a single crochet, so that's a slip stitch. The next one is a slip stitch on the slip stitch. You see that's the slip stitch from the previous round. So it's going to and these sometimes are a little tight. So just 
gently ease your hook in there and then a slip stitch on that first single crochet okay. on the next two make a single one and two on the next two make a half double one and two we're now going to skip the next granny special group and in the space that's here going to work the next granny special so I'm just going to bring my work slightly together just so that my work doesn't open up too much just work that double crochet then the treble and the double crochet you'll notice your work really pulls at this point when we're going to block it and then it'll be fine so see I've just worked that granny special there this one now I've got three spaces left, going to work a granny special in those three. And then I'm going to work a corner. And then you have reached the end of the repeat unit. And then you do all of that all the way around. And you can really see how the, the texture that you're making is just growing, and disappearing under your hands. It's a really, really nice texture. And then this is the last one. Now we're at the corner, which is the same as we've done before. So that's a double, treble in there, double chain two and the other half of the corner is the double followed by the, there we go, the treble and the double then in this corner is the same as in that corner go all the way around and after you've done your last special stitch in this space close on that chain three with a slip stitch. Round 21 I'm going to use a new color yarn so I'm just going to attach my yarn with a slip stitch in the chain 2 space. If you're using the same color just slip stitch to the corner. I'm going to make a corner like we always have so that's the chain 3 to start as a first double crochet then the treble in the loop a row down another double crochet chain two followed by a double crochet then another treble that I'm just about to squish in here and complete the corner with your last double crochet in the chain two space that's the corner. We've done many of these before. If you look at your edge, we're going to be making five granny special groups in the five spaces you have available. This one, two, three, four, and five. And then around the trebles, one, two, three, four, and five. I'll show you the first one. Then you do the other four quickly without me, and then I'll see you after that. In this space, treble, the double crochet, front post treble around the treble you already have, and another double crochet. Do this on the other four spaces also and I'll see you here when you've completed this last special group. Just done the last granny special group in that space there over the last treble. 
Now on the now it's a reasonably short stretch still till we get to the other side. We're going to skip the first stitch. That's on that one there. It's kind of being covered by the granny special. Going to skip that stitch. Then work a single crochet two together on the next two stitches. And then we're going to work a single crochet on five stitches. And these stitches we're not going to work in the top of the stitches but here to the bottom. The reason is these slip stitches you mean that they're hard to work in. So just to make life easy for you we're going to work them in the position down so not in the top of the stitches but the bottom. I'll show you when we get there. First we're going to skip this stitch. Skip that stitch and in the next work a single crochet two together. So that's one and two. Take them all off. Single crochet in the next five stitches around through the stitches of row 20. So at the top of row 20. So that's there, there. And let me just quickly look. Yeah, that's there, there, and there. That's why we're going to be inserting our hooks. So the first one at the top of the stitch but here at the bottom. One single crochet. Two. This one is the, complete, the, the double slip stitch, that's the hardest one. That's three. Four and the last one here. Five. Five single crochets. You see how you're kind of covering previous round stitches. The next two stitches single crochet two together. It's one and two. Going to skip the next stitch. There's going to be that one there, and then in this space, work a granny special. The special over that treble there, and another double. Now this here is the first of five. So again, work another four in these next spaces that are readily available to you. There's logical positions there, and there, and there, and there. And then work the corner. When you've completed the corner you'll be at the same position as you were here. And then do everything through on the other three edges also and close on your first stitch. Round 22 Two in the same color yarn, so I'm just going to slip stitch to the chain two corner space using a new color, just attach with the slip stitch. Going to do a corner and you've done many of these. Going to do a corner and then we're going to do five groups of granny special stitches and then we've got a few stitches on the straight edge and then again five granny special stitches at the corner and that we do all the way around. So in summary that's uh, round uh, 22. That completes the corner. There we go. On the straight edge we're going to do five granny specials in the spaces you have available. Here's the first one, two, three, four, and five. So do these five groups of granny specials and then I'll see you at this point. I've now done these five groups of granny special stitches. Here's the last one around that treble. You have one group of granny specials left, we're going to skip that group. 
and then work a half double in the next three stitches. So I'm going to skip this granny special, so that's the double, the front press treble and a double, I'm going to skip that. Then go to the next stitch, this is a single crochet two together, if I recall correctly, and there do a half double. And also in the next stitch, and in the next. Three half doubles. In the following stitch, which is going to be the center of your work, this is the center point. As you see here, you've, remember you have those five single crochets, this is the third of those five. And there, work two single crochets. One, two, in the same stitch. The next stitches, the next three work a half double. One, two, and three. It's going to open up. So at this point, you're again going to do exactly the same you've done many times before. We're going to skip this group of um, the, this granny special group, and the space is going to work five granny special. So in here one, two, three, four. In these five spaces work granny special and the corner work a granny corner stitch. Go all the way around and especially here in the middle just be very aware you've got two single crochets in that one stitch. When you're all the way around close on your first stitch with a slip stitch. Round 23, last round of this part. A new color yarn. I'm going to attach this yarn with a slip stitch in any chain 2 corner space. Chain 2. This is my first half double crochet and I'm going to finish that stitch at the end with, a, with an invisible join. This is my first half double. My second and a third. We've got three half doubles in the chain two corner space. I just move everything a bit because my square is actually getting nice and big. I'm going to do single crochet on the first three stitches. Just be careful. You see there's your first stitch. You could accidentally miss that stitch. I'm just going to take my yarn tail with me. It's one two, three single crochets. And these three are on the first, that first granny special there, those first three stitches. I'm going to do a, a front post double crochet around this treble here. This is from round 21, I believe. Do a front post double crochet. There's only once over. And complete the double. Looking at the next granny special, you've got the double, the front post treble, and a double. I'm going to skip the double, the first one, and in the second and the third, we do a single crochet. This little piece we're going to do that five more times. So double crochet on the treble, front post double on the treble, skipping the first stitch, work single on stitch number two and three. And again the front post double, skip the first stitch a single and a single. Again, front post double and then the two singles. Now the front post double. Skip that stitch and a single 
and another single. There we go. Going to skip the last stitch after that last granny special. Uh, I've got one more. I've got one more here to do. Sorry, that one there. That front post double, and now we do not work those two single crochets. There we go. So if everything went right. We now have six of these. Let me just count one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got six front post double crochets that you've made, and you've got two um, single crochets in between all of them. And I've got this single, this front post double here is the last one. So I don't haven't done those two single crochets there because there's, there's no granny special group here. That's why. Now on this straight edge we've got a number of stitches that we're going to work seven single crochets on. We're going to skip the first stitch. So you see that stitch there, you're going to skip that stitch and then the second one work a single and that's the first of seven. That's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. I'm going to make a front post double crochet around the treble here. You'll now have the next group of um, granny special. We're going to skip the first double crochet that's there and then go to the treble, work a single and to the double crochet, work a single. I'm going to repeat this a few more times, so, uh, five more times I believe. Around the front post, work a front post double crochet, then skip the first double, go to the treble, work a single, and in the double crochet work a single. Another front post double around the treble, Skip the double crochet and then in the treble and the double work a single crochet. Once more and single crochets and another treble, sorry, double crochet, front post double and then in the treble work a single and in the double crochet work a single. The last one, front post double crochet around that last treble. And here we're going to work single crochet in the first double. In the treble work a single crochet and work one last single in that last half, in that last double crochet there. Now at the corner, it's three half doubles in the corner. One, two and three. This here is exactly the same as this corner we started with. So you've got the three half doubles there. Go all the way around and when you're here close on that stitch with an invisible join. So that means opening up and then closing, taking the loop through those two loops and then taking it back just like we've done before. Go all the way around and then close on that first stitch with that invisible join. All the way around, just to show you the invisible join, I'm just going to cut my yarn, then open up. You can do this with your hook, you can do this with a needle, whatever works for you. Thread my yarn on a needle and just take a look at your work. You've got these two half doubles and that's the chain two. I'm going to that first half double, just pull through, then come back to the last stitch worked and thread that to the bottom. Just pull this all a little bit together, fashion that loop properly and there you've made the invisible joint. So now I've got the one, two, three stitches in the corner. Work away this yarn tail and then you've completed part two. This is what your work looks like at the moment. Take 
the time to work away all your last yarn tails because that will just really save you a lot of time. So at the end of part 2 work away any yarn tails that you still have. What you'll also notice is that your work is really, really wobbly and wonky. You can see here it just has a strange shape, it pulls inward. Really, really important. Block your work at this point. Make it nice and flat, so open all of this up and set this into shape and block it properly. I also have a video showing you how to block squares if you haven't done that before. But really, really important, I really want to stress, block your work at the end of part two, just to get it all nice and flat. And when you finish it blocking, you'll see the square is beautifully flat and has a, it's, it's just much more workable. And this is what you're going for after your blocking. We've now finished part two. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon for part 